I lied. I said that the Gemini 1.5 Pro API won't be available for at least another month, which is why I only hooked up the basic Gemini Pro API to the Autoblogger app. But the timing was impeccable. Literally 24 hours later, I got this email. The Gemini 1.5 Pro API is now available for use, and some are saying that it's comparable to GPT-4 Turbo, if not better than GPT-4 Turbo, and it's completely free to use. So in this video, we're gonna compare Gemini 1.5 Pro to GPT-4 Turbo, and this is good timing because OpenAI just released the newest GPT-4 Turbo model as well. They usually name their models based on the date they were updated. So this one was updated April 9th, but I believe it just got released to the public now. We'll generate two basic articles with the autoblogger. For the first one, we're going to use GPT-4 Turbo, and for the second one, we're going to use Gemini 1.5 Pro, and we'll compare them with some metrics. All right, let's get started. First, the pricing. So the best thing about Gemini Pro is that it's completely free to use for most use cases. If you were going to build a web app with Gemini Pro and you wanted to use the latest model, Gemini 1.5 Pro, then you're probably looking at the pay-as-you-go plan. But a price of $7 per 1 million tokens of an input and $21 for 1 million tokens as an output is still cheaper than GPT-4 Turbo. Quickly looking at it, it's $10 for a million tokens and in input and $30 for a million tokens and output. So $9 cheaper for the output, $3 cheaper for the input. On the free plan, as long as you stay within 50 requests per day and 32,000 tokens per minute, you won't pay a dime. So setting up the auto blogger, to generate a new article every hour, that's 24 new articles, you could actually run that instance twice on two different connections and not pay a cent in text generation charges. That's amazing to me. Imagine having GPT-4 Turbo at your fingertips for free. It's your own AI marketing agent working on autopilot. For those of you who are new to the Autoblogger app, this is a web app that I'm building for you guys, and it's offering a ton of AI tools for you. So to get started, go to autoblogger.app. You're going to enter your name, an email address, a password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. When you first log in, it's going to bring you to this settings page. If you have already connected your websites and put in your API keys, you can skip ahead. But let's do this fast. Let's say I want a Shopify connection. I'm going to click Shopify. We're going to name our Shopify integration. I'm going to write my Shopify store. Then in your Shopify dashboard, go to settings. We need your default my Shopify URL. This is a brand new website, so it's shown up in here. If you have connected a custom domain, scroll down and click domains. I think it's in this section. You got to grab your oldest one. So let's copy this, paste it into the store URL input box. Now we need an access token. In the settings, scroll down to apps and sales channels. Click develop apps, create an app. I'm going to call this auto blogger. Click create app, then configure admin API scopes. Type in blog, then click write content. It will also fill in read content. Click save, then install app, install. Reveal the secret token, copy this, go into your settings, paste it into the access token. Now for the blog slug, this is where you want to post the articles to. We're going to click on online store, then blog posts, then manage blogs at the top. This store only has one blog. It's the default news one. I'm going to click it. And it's this last portion of the URL. So 11 digits. I'm going to copy this, paste it in here, and then click connect. If all is good, it's going to say your Shopify store has been connected. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to show in your most recent connection down here. Next, go to API keys. And for this experiment, I'm going to input both an OpenAI secret key and a Gemini secret key because we want to compare the two models. So to get your OpenAI secret key, click this hyperlink. It's going to take you to platform.openai.com. This is the developer dashboard. 
it is different than chat GPT. Okay, scroll down, click create new secret key. I'm gonna call it model test, click create secret key, copy this key, go back into settings, paste it in, and then I'm gonna click test just to make sure everything is okay. After about 30 seconds, we get a check mark in this button. That means the integration was a success. If this is your first time connecting an OpenAI developer account, go to settings, billing. You're going to add a valid payment method and then add credits to your balance. Again, this is different than a ChatGPT Plus subscription. ChatGPT is OpenAI's client-facing web app. We are a developer, we're using their API in the back end. And I think a Plus subscription is $20 per month. Usually your pay-as-you-go plan is gonna be cheaper than that anyways. So to start, you can just add $5 in credits. Next, we need a Gemini Pro secret key. I'm gonna click on this hyperlink. It takes us to aistudio.google.com. And on the API keys page, I'm gonna click Create API Key. We're gonna choose a Google Cloud project. If you haven't created one yet, it will give you the option to create one live. I'm gonna use this one. Click Create API Key, an existing project. Copy this key, go back into settings, paste it in, and then click Test. This one was a lot quicker, I get the check mark. Both models have been integrated successfully. Next, you're gonna click on Subscription, and then Subscribe. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. The auto blogger is $9 per month. I'm trying to make this tool as cheap as possible. It includes unlimited generations, unlimited usage, unlimited connections. So if you're an agency, you can connect multiple websites and use the auto blogger for all of those accounts under one subscription. I'm continuing to update this with new tools, new features, new APIs. I appreciate all of the support. If everything is good, it's gonna bring you back to the settings page. I'm gonna now click on home. We have a few tools right now, auto blogging. You enter in a list of keywords and it will create an article for each of those keywords on autopilot. We have SEO heist. You input a competitor's RSS feed URL. And then every time they release a new article on their website, we take that article title, spin it, write a new article, and hopefully you can take some of their traffic with this method. We have an XBot. It's a personalized XBot that writes and posts tweets on your behalf. You input a bunch of hashtags, topics, tones. It randomizes the output and then posts at your chosen interval. And then the new feature is the Reddit bot. You choose a specific subreddit, you create a special bot description, and then the Reddit bot will only respond on new posts as if it were human. So that's a good way to get traffic, get direct messages, get karma. For the experiment, we're just gonna use the auto blogging. There's a few parameters that we need to set up before we can run this. First is whether we want it to be published or draft. Leaving this toggle unchecked means it will post to draft first. I want it published. I'm gonna choose my connection. By default, it's your latest integration, so I put my Shopify store, we'll put that there. Next, we're gonna choose our text model. For this first test, let's choose GPT-4 Turbo. I'm not gonna generate an image for the article. I'm gonna select no image. The language is English. If I want to add internal, external, or affiliate links to the article, I can use this feature. I'm gonna leave it blank. For the interval, I'm just gonna leave it at one hour. I'm just writing it for one keyword, so this is not needed. The text prompt, I want to leave it basic. I want to compare both of these models without adding anything special. In this input, you can specify format, tone, style, special instructions, your business details, however you want the model to write. Let's leave this as it is. And for the keyword, I'm gonna input email marketing. Okay, a brand new feature of the autoblogger just released today is the ability to add tags or categories for your posts. For Shopify, we only get tags as an option. Through the API, this feature is a little difficult to use. So I have an info button that you can hover over. It gives you some instructions. But basically, you want to write what tags you want your posts to have and then separate them by a comma. So if I wanted this email marketing article, to have the tag email, I'll go comma business, and then comma space tips. Writing this would give the article three different tags, 
if these tags don't exist on your Shopify store, it will create them from scratch and then assign it to the post. If you already have those tags, it will set them for the article. If you had a bunch of keywords, let's say you had 100 keywords in this input box, it would add these three tags for all of those keywords. So it's a good way to organize your articles. I have a sample WordPress integration. Excuse the name, I was doing some testing in the background. But that opens up categories and tags. If it's a WordPress.com integration, you do the same thing as Shopify. So maybe something like emails, FAQs, blog posts. Separate them all by a comma. Tags are the same thing. If it's a WordPress.org integration, so it's self-hosted, click on posts, categories, click on the category or tag, let's say fruit, and you need to grab the ID in the URL. Again, I wish this was easier. It's just how the API works. In this example, it is five. So in that categories, I would write five comma, three comma, maybe 12, and it would set the posts to those categories. If you're ever stuck, hovering over that info button will give you some direction. I'm still brainstorming ways to make this easier, but for now it works as expected. Anyways, I'm using Shopify, so I'm gonna go emails, comma, space, business. Those are my tags. Let's click generate posts. It's going to take me to the workflows page where I can change the name of this workflow. I'm gonna call it GPT-4 Turbo because we're testing the different models. It shows what connection this is for. It's the Shopify store. We're running an auto blogger workflow. I can click on edit and change any of the parameters for this workflow while it's running. I can change my tags, the text prompt, the text model, the image model, the language, the interval, whether it's published or not. And if this workflow is not running or anything seems funky, I can check the error logs to see what's up. Okay, everything looks good. I'm gonna go back to home. Let's click on auto blogging again. And we're gonna do everything the exact same, this time Gemini 1.5 Pro. It was no image. The keyword was email marketing. And the tags were email, business. Let's click generate posts. And let's name this Gemini 1.5 Pro. All right, both of these are completed. Let's head on over to my Shopify website and check out the results. All right, here are the two articles. The first one is GPT-4 Turbo, and this next one is Gemini 1.5 Pro. I'm going to give the nod to Gemini 1.5 Pro. I think the title subject, conquering email marketing, and then an email emoji. It's fun, it's engaging, it's unique, it's clever that they're using subject, like you're getting an email of this article. GPT-4s is good too, essentials of effective email marketing, but it's pretty basic. Let's take a quick look at the GPT-4 Turbo one. And giving it a quick look, not reading it yet, I like the length, it looks pretty detailed. A bunch of subheadings, H3 text, we got a conclusion. And then the Gemini 1.5 Pro, I like this formatting a bit better. We have all the bullet points, we have some good subheadings as well. For the formatting, I think I'm going to give the nod to Gemini 1.5 Pro as well. In my opinion, these types of articles are easier to read. I like how it's styled. Next, I threw both text into an SEO content analysis to see its score. I want you to ignore the optimization grade because it's just the article text. A lot of this is page title, meta descriptions, images. All of those are generated automatically by the autoblogger when we post the article. You don't have to do any extra work, but because I just pasted the text, it's not gonna grab all of those details. But what we do wanna know, and I'm gonna scroll down to the content score, this is the GPT-4 Turbo article, and we're getting a green check mark for 597 words. That's a good average article length. And then we're getting a keyword density of 2% for the focus keyword email marketing. And that keyword appears seven times in the text. For the Gemini 1.5 Pro article, 577 words, slightly less, but the keyword density is 6%, which is higher. And the keyword email marketing is used 18 times. 
It doesn't seem like it's too crowded with the keyword, which could get your article penalized. And if you're the type of person who likes their keyword placed many times throughout the text, I think you have to give the nod to Gemini 1.5 Pro as well. If you want to use the Autoblogger tool for yourself, generate articles for free using the new Gemini 1.5 Pro API. I'm going to drop a link in the description below. I also designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. If you want to build your own tool just like the Autoblogger, or turn your custom GPTs into a web app, I'll also leave a link to that as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.